Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And, and this, this is The, the Insider, Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hi, I can't hey, welcome back. Bruce. <laughs> yes, yes, it's, it's, it's good to be back. You know, I had a, a moment there where I forgot radio existed because I was chaperoning <laughs> like a, a youth at a youth conference and I was looking after teenagers oh my goodness. for four days. And like I said, I forgot that radio existed. Yeah, I can dig it. Yeah, because I was. Yeah, yeah, it was the last week. In case anybody know, Kat mm-hmm. wasn't with us last week, but I had to contact her, and she goes, "Oh, I forgot. I can't be there." <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That I knew is... something was going on. So, well, now where was this at? This was like a youth health conf up in the Corvallis area at OSU. Oh, so okay, so you had to travel. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. solidly out of town from like you Sunday solid, to Wednesday, yeah. and just like <laughs> wow. Yeah, very cool. And, and like I said uh, to to the folks who who take care of those teenagers full time, I, I salute you. <laughs> <laughs> No doubt. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, unmatched energy. They have. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Absorb some of that use. Right. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, funny. no, it was a fun time. It was. That's and, good. And, and yes, but but very exhausting. <laughs> ah, guarantee. guarantee. I went home and took a big nap. Shoot, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. How about you? How was your weekend with Junior? Oh, you know, we had a good weekend. Yeah, we just mm-hmm. hung out and uh, yeah, nothing really exciting. Uh, yeah. That fishing thing, you know, that was a big one. The last one, mm-hmm. his birthday's coming up here pretty soon. But yeah, um. Like I was telling you last week's show was really cool because the one thing Dave was here from the story of mm-hmm. South Coast fishermen and well, as you said, we can he could do a conversation real easy. He's just so this real comfortable. Chat. I just said, Hey, I'm dragging you in with me. You're gonna mm-hmm. do some of the show with me. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it, it worked out beautifully and all that good stuff. But yeah, uh we just hung out this weekend and uh, I made my chili again. It Yum. was good. Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. Good, good. Uh, it was kind of the weather today. We had a little bit of good love there for a minute. I got out and was working the yards. One of the neighbors helping me out and everything like that. Mm-hmm. We, mm-hmm. we got her knocked out, but and now it's all just clean, you know, washing everything down. But I was uh, gonna say if they can wash away some of that pollen, I thank you. Oh, it's been killing me. That was a you know what. Uh, <laughs> One of my neighbors, yeah, mm-hmm. Jim there, he, he mentioned that on Friday or when it first ran, he was like going, he goes, oh, wash all that pollen away. And I was like going, you know, yeah, there's a positive there because, man, it all was hitting everybody with a I, vengeance. Man, you know? I yeah, haven't yeah. experienced a spring like this since I lived in Eugene, which has like the colloquial term for it is the, the valley of sickness and death because oh, of their high pollen counts, yeah. you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just my goodness, it's been a rough spring for me, man. I was like, I'm not used to having allergies. Now I'm like, I have allergies again. Oh, no. Oh, oh you no. run it. And you run, too. Yeah. So you're uh-uh. out in the I'm beauty. Running. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just like, I can yeah. just do two yeah. miles today and not four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do all my stuff in a gym, so it's controlled, you know, atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'm not kidding. I do have the cheap man's way of doing it so <laughs> but but yeah. like i was saying i was doing the yard work though plenty man, and training the trees i was going oh man you know because i've been rehearsing and it's like i just show up at rehearsal and we got you know what working on the trees we're just going through the motions we're mm-hmm. just going through the motions you know let's just mm-hmm. do it and do a rehearsal and you know it's all good yeah but my voice definitely hits your heart yeah i heard a lot of people have been mentioned yeah we feel your yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got it pretty much. So, mm-hmm. anyways, well, there we go. So we had this great one there, a good weekend. And we got a lot coming up here for May. That's for sure. Here is really fast. I mean, you got the insider coming out and everything this week. And uh, yeah, hope everybody got out and did something this weekend. And we're going to tell you some fun stuff that's going to be coming up this next weekend and beyond. So mm-hmm. here we go. Before we go, I'd like to thank the Oregon South Coast. Fisherman, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, all you gotta do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. All right, so let's get this thing rocking and rolling with some music schedule. We're getting into those May events. Starting things off at the Elk Valley Casino at the Betty Green Event Center. Music there starting at 8 o'clock on the 4th. They're going to have Kiss Revisited. And then on the 18th, it's stand-up comedy with Monica Nevy. On the 25th, they're going to have Midnight Revival. And then over at the Warriors Bar and Grill, music there starting at 7 o'clock. On the 3rd and 4th, Robert Tiernan's playing. On the 10th and the 11th, Steve Nelson. On the 18th and 19th, Jesse Mead. On the 24th and 25th, Hannah Paysinger. And on the 31st and then the 1st of June there, they've got Jonathan Foster. Yes, indeed. And then Lon Goddard on the 1st, he'll be at Coon Tai, 6 to 8. And on the 3rd, he'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing. That's also 6 to 8. And on the 11th, he'll be at Democratic Headquarters on the 2nd 
Saturday Art Walk, 3 to 6 yeah. p.m. And Black GTO is playing on the 25th at Checo Brewing Co. Music there running from 8 to 10. Yeah, and then P.A. and T. Roy will be playing on the 11th at Kuntai, 6 to 8, and at Misty Mountain Brewing on the 17th, 6 to 8. And then Bloodline Band is playing on the 3rd of this month at Checo Brewing Co. Music there running from 6 to 8. Yep, and then Mike Powell, he'll be at Oxen Free, 8 p.m., on the 17th, he'll be at Checo Brewing Company. On the 18th, he'll be at Wild Rivers Wine Festival going on at Curry Fairgrounds in Gold Beach, 3 to 6. We'll be talking about that later. And then on the 24th, he'll be at the Brookings Elks Lodge, 7 to 9 p.m. Yes, and then for the Italian guys, we've got a couple dates here. On the 2nd and the 16th, they're going to be playing at Kuntai at 6. Yeah, and the Mighty Steelheads on the 10th, they'll be at Inateca, 7.30 to 10.30. And Cisco is playing on the 4th, 11th, and the 25th at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market. And it looks like it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then on the 18th, they'll be at the Checo Grange from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on the 28th at the Checo Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yeah, Cisco told me he's solo now. So there we go. Right. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be Cisco solo. Yeah. So at the end of Checo, music starts at 8. On the 3rd, they've got AMS. On the 4th, they got karaoke. On the 10th, that's the Mighty Steelheads. On the 11th, R&B music. On the 17th, Cut It Like the Kings. On the 18th, AMS again. On the 24th, love this one, Hippie Death Cult. Mm. <laughs> and then on the 25th, it's the Shark Tones. And on the 31st, Homegrown. Mm. So there you go. That's it for the music schedule. If you all got a music schedule for your band or your musician out there and you'd like to get it on the air, just send it to captaincurry541 at gmail.com and I will get it on the air for you. No problemo. Hey, before we get going on the library schedule, I got this special news bulletin. Special thing came in. It's a special event, all right, because it just was something that somebody came up with and they're doing it. It's called the Star Wars. May the fourth be with you. Yeah, everybody's playing out that. So mm. there's the Star Wars theme. So they got Star Wars A New Hope, Star Wars The Empire Strike Back, and The Return of the Jedi. This is happening on May 4th. Tickets are $10 per movie or $25 for a combo deal. This is at the Checo Playhouse, 1240 Checo Avenue. And you can call 541 469 1857 or visit checkopelicanplayers.org. There's movies, costume contests, silent auction, and raffles. This begins at 11.30 a.m. Doors open, silent auction start, costume contest. Then at noon, it's the Star Wars A New Hope, a raffle, a costume contest. Then at 3.30, it's the Empire Strikes Back, a raffle, a costume contest. Are you seeing a pattern here? And then it all ends at 7 p.m. with Star Wars, The Return of the Jedi. And then at the end of that, there's one last silent auction. So that's coming up here this weekend on the 4th. So there you go. May the 4th be with you. Yes. <laughs> all right. So the Checo Library has some events going on. They're going to start things off with their weekly events on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. They've got story time. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. And then at 1.30 on Tuesdays, they have a chair yoga class. At 2.45, they have a chair yoga class again. And then on Fridays at 4 o'clock, they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And then for their special events for the month of May, on the 4th at 2 p.m., they're having a Mario Kart tournament. Join them for an open all-ages welcome Mario Kart tournament in the library's forest room. May the best go-kart racer win. And then on the 7th and 14th at 4 p.m., they're continuing their free tobacco cessation workshop. You can join the staff at All Care for a free workshop that includes tips and tricks to help quit the use of tobacco products. And then on the 14th and 28th, those are Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m., they have game nights at Checo Brewing Co. So this is an all-ages open game night featuring games from the Checo Library's growing board game collection, and it's hosted at Checo Brewing Co. on Railroad Street. You can try a game from their library or you can bring one of your favorites to share. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in your community. Game nights happen every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. Again, that's at Checo Brewing Co. on Railroad. And then on the 13th of May, they have their monthly spice bags. You can take home a new spice from a different part of the world every single month. Each bag comes with a tester sample of a spice, trivia, and recipe suggestions. Now, this is first come, first serve while supplies last. And then on the 16th at 4.30, they have their after-school craft activity. 
School-age kids and teens are invited to explore their creativity this month through doodle art. And then we've got a menu here of library book clubs that happen every single month. First off, on the 8th of May at 4 p.m., they have their kids' book club. This is a monthly book club for elementary and early middle grade children. Also on the 8th at 4 o'clock, for adults, they have their freshly written book club. And this is for adult fiction readers. On the 9th at 5 p.m., they have Club de Lectora en Español. This is a monthly book club for adults who read and speak Spanish. Parents are welcome, and they're invited to bring their children along. And of course, all library-led programs and events are free to attend, whether or not you have a library card or from the area. For more information, you can visit checkolibrary.org. You can follow them on Facebook, or you can give them a call at 541 549-7738. Oh, yeah. And you can also see the schedule in the Insider of Southern Oregon. (laughs) May issue. Yeah, you got it to me soon enough. I loved it. That was great. So we were able to get it there and you'll hear it on the air as well. But yeah, I got it in there. Got a nice little half a pager. Yeah. (laughs) It'll work. Yeah. Oh, hey. Okay. Well, we gave a teaser earlier and it is happening. Elk Valley Casino is presenting Kiss Revisited. This is happening on the 4th this weekend coming up 8 p.m. Kiss Revisited takes the stage to perform all your favorite hits from Detroit Rock City to rock and roll all night and everything in between. Tickets are on sale at the Points Club booth or online in advance at www.etix.com. And the day of the event, doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8 p.m. Must be 21 or older to attend. And this is seating is first come, first serve. Once again, here we go with another tribute band that's like... I've been here. They've been doing really good. All these bands that they've been having are really great. So Lots and lots of options. Hey. Yep, that's cool. All right. Now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah. Hey, here are a few quotes from director-actor Orson Welles. He was born on May 6th, 1914. He says, create your own visual style. Let it be unique for yourself and yet identifiable for others. I, I can relate with that. I can dig that. We're born alone. We live alone. We die alone. Only through our love and friendship can we create the illusion for the moment that we're not alone. And if you want a happy ending that that depends, of course, on where you stop your story. Last but not least, ask not what you can do for your country. Ask what's for lunch. (coughs) Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Orson Welles with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Now, you know, if, if anybody's ever followed Orson Welles or seen him on interviews and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, he's a very serious actor and very serious director and all that. Now, a bugger to work with, I understand. Mm-hmm. But he was funny. Oh, the yeah. dude was funny. Witty. I mean, interviews, witty. He was, he's very yes. witty. Yes, <laughs> he was. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hey, Alter Ego Dance is presenting a Diamonds and Denim Mother Son Dance. This is happening at the Veterans Hall at 310 H Street in Crescent City. This is going to be on the 4th of May from 4 to 7 p.m. It's featuring dinner, drinks, a photo booth, DJs, and more. This is open to the public. They ask, uh, it's themed, please wear blue jeans and bling. It's $45 per mother and son, and it says $10 per extra sons. Yeah. <laughs> <From, laughs> got spares. You know? Yeah, if you got spares, bring them along for uh, 10 bucks for, extra. For more information, you can go to alteregodance.net. Yeah, I had to put that mm. sign, and then I put the, yeah, the S in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, hey, I don't know, you might have five boys at home, man. They all want to go. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Hey, Forecastle Books and Gallery at 553 Checo Avenue is presenting another poetry reading. This time, it's going to be with Weld Champneys. This will be happening on the 9th, 5.45 p.m., and it is hosted by Michael Spring. There you go. And hey, the Party Girls of Del Norte and Curry County are doing uh, quarter craze benefit auctions, and they're presenting the Del Norte Wrestling Inc. quarter craze at the Elk Valley Casino in Crescent City. This is going to be on the 11th of May from 5 to 8.30. says, wear blue and gold to show support and earn your ticket for a chance at the Magic Paddle. They're raising funds to help with travel expenses for all of Del Norte wrestling teams, desserts by donation, raffles, and more. And this event is ages 18 plus. Yeah, that's good. They allow 18 and plus on that one. Oh, that's neat. Because that's, that's, yeah, yeah, usually the yeah. stuff there is 21, you know. So, yeah. yeah. And I was going to say, it's funny because all the people they're making the money for can't be there, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we can't support Here's ourselves. Here's the money. Yeah, we'll stand out front. This is for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't applaud. Just throw money. Thank you very there much. There you go. Hey, Curry Public Library is presenting Second Sunday Family Fun Day. This will be on the 12th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. It's Summer Reading 2024 Program Preview. 
and Mother's Day craft making. Mm-hmm. So there you right. go. Yeah, you can get online and read more about that. I so. love homemade crafts. They're so yeah, I know. That's cool. <laughs> Hey, the Wild Rivers Wine Festival is happening at the Event Center on the Beach. That's at 29392 Ellensburg Avenue in Gold Beach. It's a two-day event. On the 17th, it runs from 4 to 8 p.m. And then on the 18th, from 11 to 8 p.m. This two-day event features a variety of wines from regional wineries, plus beers and ciders. Join them for food, live music, and vendors that also include a commemorative wine glass and two wine tickets. Tickets are $20 presale, $25 at the door. And for tickets and more information, you can head to eventcenteronthebeach.com. Yeah, luckily, there's another one that I just happened to catch online and mm-hmm. just because I didn't hear about it or see about it until the last mm-hmm. minute, but I just happened to catch it. I got it into paper in the Insider as well on that one. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm doing my job. There you go, <laughs> keeping an eye Spreading out. the love, mm-hmm. watching out for y'all. Yeah, that's right. You got an event, if I see it. As long as they put it in the events thing, you know, somewhere mm-hmm. online, Facebook or something. I will find it, but mm-hmm. it's when they don't is when it's like, yeah. sorry, I, I was trying to help. Though it really should well. be noted before you get too far into it, it's presented by United Way of Southwestern Oregon. We're the host, but they're the group. Oh, very yeah. cool. Okay. Very mm-hmm. cool. So uh, is this the first one? Um, the first one that's happening at the library. The first one happened, uh, that was hosted by the Nazarene Church last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. They have different staging areas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here depending, we go. On, depending on what's going on that year. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, here it is. Our Chaco Community Library is presenting Day of Caring 2024. I caught that one online. Boy, that was a good one. Yeah. United Way of Southwestern Oregon is excited to announce the 2024 Day of Caring. Community volunteers helping local homeowners in need of assistance with basic yard work. This one-day annual event organizes local volunteers to help seniors, veterans, folks, and disabilities resource up, let's see, foster families and others in need of help with small yard work tasks. Volunteers will help mow lawns, clear weeds, stack firewood, plant flowers, slash vegetables, and help with the other yard chores. Now, this is happening on Saturday, May 18th, 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. You meet at the Chetco Community Public Library, Auxiliary Parking Lot, for yard work assignments. Teams are invited to sign up for this group family-friendly community service event. Volunteers are assigned based on client requests. Volunteers provide their own transportation and lawn care tools. For more information about volunteering, inquire about client signups. You can visit www.unitedwayswo.org slash day of caring, or you can call 541-267-5202, or you can email info at unitedwaywo.org. Please note the request for yard work assistance will be prioritized based on need and volunteer availability. Mm-hmm. So this is an yeah. important one. Need some yeah. volunteers there. Gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. Another thing, a fine thing y'all are doing. Oh, That's fun, very fun cool. stuff. Yep. And uh, for the second year in a row, uh, Team Three Penny is going to have a Three Penny a volunteer team to help out with yard work. We had a blast last year. This is the yeah. second one, isn't it? Yeah. Because I remember mm-hmm. us talking about it last mm-hmm. year. I think we gave yeah. a promo. Yeah. I just said, yeah. just dawned on me. It sounds like a recurring. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Very cool. Yeah, it was a great time. If you're able to volunteer, I, I highly recommend it. It's very rewarding. Good so. stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know a fellow years ago in England was famous for his dine and dashing technique? It's true. Now here's the story. Edward Dando. Dando was a poor man in early 19th century who had a peculiar habit. He would go to food stalls and gorge himself on the food available. He had a particular fondness for oysters, of which he'd eat dozens in one row. He'd then wash it all down with copious amounts of ale, and after these phenomenal feats of consumption, Dando would reveal to the seller that, alas, he had no money, and he was flat broke. Well, the police would be called, Dando would be thrown in the slammer, and he'd get out and soon do it again. He never protested his arrest and would defend himself fiercely. The funny thing, people came to see him as a hero of sorts. Charles Dixon himself was somewhat of a champion of Dando. Despite being poor, typically without work and with peculiar habits, Dando was an eloquent man. Asked by a judge to explain his behavior, he had the following to say. Oh, I refuse to starve in a land of plenty. Instead, I shall follow the example of my betters by running into debt without having the means of pain. Why, some men live in great extravagance and luxury, owe money, and cheat their creditors, yet they are still considered respectable and honest. I only run into debt to satisfy the craving of hunger, and yet I am despised and beaten. (laughs) 
refusing to starve in a land of plenty, powerful words if you ask me. In 1832, Dando died of cholera in jail, aged only 29. And Charles Dickens utilized him thus, Alexander wept, having no more worlds to conquer. And Dando died because there were no more oyster shops to victimize. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's Bear with History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. <laughs>
Whatever you have. <laughs> Come on in and take advantage of it. You got two minutes on the air. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Delight your friends and family. Maybe. Hey, game night at the Whimsical Griffin. This is happening at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and board games. Oh, could we get this last one in? Good. Yep. We got time for one more PSA. Meals on Wheels, still currently looking for volunteers. They need volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors who can't get to the activity center for the daily meals served there. They have a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a good opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community, be a friendly face, and deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound residents. Whether you're interested in doing this for just a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. You can contact Debbie to get involved at 714-423-9797. Very cool. Very important. And they need a lot of help all the time. Mm -hmm. so there you go. Well, hey, that's it. we got the flying fickle finger of fate from the producer, and it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, as always, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look <laughs> and sound good on the radio. wonder if everybody gets that. Because, you know, my mama said, you, you got, got a face you got for radio. radio. That's it. You yeah. It. Oh, I know it. I know it's it. A <laughs> got a face for radio. It's like, what's that mean, Mom? Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Inside Report. Make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Inside Report by going to kciw.org. And while you're there, hey, check out the live streaming as well. Until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, and hey, please support local businesses. And uh, as always, keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out there. there. Bye. Bye. Nobody stoned us or nothing. We amazed us but. <laughs>